This applies to any digital camera. Um, I'm going to show you something really neat how you could build a really nice uh, professional um, a stereo microphone. It won't be a shotgun one like this, but I generally don't need a shotgun. Here I have a uh, an old Sony microphone, and it's the MS uh, ECMS 907 model. Now you have a, a, an option for selecting a 90 degrees or 120 degrees. This is what it looks like. Obviously, this is about like 130 dollars the road. Obviously, it's a different profile. Yes, it's a shotgun mic. I generally don't need a shotgun mic. Here I have it mounted inside a pure stone, which is, is like a $50 adapter. But, let me show you something really awesome. You, you can usually find these microphones used for about 29 bucks on eBay. They're actually really, really excellent microphones. So Sony used to make really nice stereo microphones. Runs off one AA battery. Absolutely perfect, especially the Fuji X-T2 now. Has a 3.5 millimeter stereo microphone input jack. It works perfectly on the Fuji X-T2. Also works perfectly on my Nikon. Is that you will need two things. You see this mount adapter that I have built for it here? You'll need two things. You'll need a cold shoe adapter like this. You'll notice that the base is threaded. And then you'll need one of these. This actually fits into the hot shoe of your camera. This is obviously a cold shoe. And what you do is you actually screw this on top of this. Okay. You see that? So this is like $1.50 and the bottom piece is $1.50. You may need sure you need to get the right thread pitch. Uh, this is... Um, I forget what this is. Was it one thirty-second thread pitch? It's the same thread pitch that's in the base of the cold shoe. And what I did is um, on the base of this, I used some of the binary putty stuff. You know, you actually squish it together like Play-Doh, and it turns into hard as a rock in about uh, five to ten minutes. You can get it down at your local hardware store. You squish it together for you knead it like dough for about five minutes. I believe it's called Plumber's Helper or something like that. And what I did is I actually just squished that into this cold chute here and made a platform with a little saddle on it. And then I put Velcro. This is actually an old uh, uh, microphone trick is that uh, while you normally would use um, like a shock holder like this, which basically there's modified rubber bands as a shock so you don't actually get shock noises in the microphone. I've used this extensively, you get no shock noises because of the Velcro. You think, well, Velcro makes a ripping noise, but using it on your camera, you don't get any ripping noises, okay? You're not actually ripping it out of the mount that it's on. You can see I have Velcro on the microphone, and then Velcro on top of that uh, that saddle. Once it turns hard as a rock, it literally does turn hard as a rock. I put some Velcro on there, that it actually cushions it perfectly fine. You get no uh, motion noise that uh, you would get simply by mounting this. And this uh, directly under the camera, but this is the uh, the mount, which uh, just takes these two pieces, four bucks. You'll need to get a tube of that binary putty at your local hardware store, and then use some industrial Velcro and attach it like this. And this works extremely well. So this microphone, for example, you, there's a lot of different little uh, stereo microphones that take a double A battery. This is just an old one made by Sony. Um, run you 30 bucks basically for the microphone and another five dollars for the adapter so here we're looking at like 130 bucks I know this is a shotgun microphone okay I generally don't need or want a shotgun microphone but uh, here we have 30 bucks plus five bucks so you're talking 35 bucks and it works excellently like I said you can lock this right down on the hot shoe of your camera works perfectly excellent idea I wanted to show you all that. You don't actually have to buy these super expensive. The actual um, microphone, even though it's not a shotgun microphone, the actual audio out of this microphone is exquisite. People have been using it for quite a long time now. Uh, Sony used to make really nice small uh, uh, stereo microphones like this. That's why I said this one runs off of a, a single AA battery. And it is excellent on off switch with a 90 degree selection I mean a 90 degree selection for audio or a 120 degree audio pickup selection and uh, this is 30 bucks used for the microphone basically and uh, five dollars for this you could make this you know still you scratching your ass in front of the television you can make one of these in about 
15 minutes all you have to do is going to take really all your time is just kneading that uh, binary putty together then you shape it to make a saddle that fits on top of uh, this cold shoe you're basically basically eh, you're basically making like a uh, a saddle like that dropped it on the floor <laughs> you're basically making a saddle like what which would go on a horse and you're just putting an industrial velcro on top of that this does work perfectly it sits in the perfect place on your camera and uh, so anyway thought I'd show you that save yourself a lot of money go on eBay get a great used stereo microphone and build one of these you should already have a cold shoe and this little adapter anyway thanks for watching this is what that little adapter looks like you could find them on eBay Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.